I've literally just been skimming all of these books and these were staring me right in the face. Two Wii remotes on the shelf. Four quid each. They've got the Motion Plus in the bottom. Got the Nunchuck. Literally, just in plain sight. Talk about right place, right time. An original yellow Game Boy boxed. What's that there? They're not home, they're out having a bit of food in the brown trout. But that's I wanted to use the YouTuber. Just wrote off his bulk, but in 24 hours they've sold for over £100 plus post. I was having a nostalgic moment the other day. In the late 90s, yo-yos come back into fashion big time. And I was right in the middle of it. Don't know why I was thinking about it, but I jumped on eBay to see if I could find one. And I did. Playmax Pro Yo 2. These were the ones to have back in the day. And I sniped this one off of eBay for a Fiverr Plus post. Absolute bargain. The one I used to have, though, was the Glow in the Dark one. If you want the Glow in the Dark one, you're looking at at least 25 quid. There were two really fancy ones back in the day with a clutch mechanism in there. The Hyper Wasp or the Turbo Bumblebee. They are on my grail list. If you want to buy one of them off eBay, you're talking serious money. Anyway, today I have got a good episode. Two Facebook Marketplace pickups. If you're into your retro gaming, you want to check those out. And I want to hit the charity shops to see if I can find some bits to sell on eBay. Or just some more cool stuff to add to my collection. At the end of the video, I'll show you what's been selling on eBay. Of course, if you enjoy this type of video, hit that like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's hit those charity shops. This is quite cool. Check this out. MB Puzzle, Jurassic Park, 100 piece. This looks an old one. Look at this. Hiya. Yeah, Have a look at that. Hiding from the Velociraptors. Iconic. Complete pound 50. What's the date on it? 1993. Pound 50. Don't know what it's worth. Doesn't matter. Buying that just because that is cool. And check this out. This was just tucked underneath all the adults' clothes. Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. Fancy dress, muscle suit, adult size. Four quid. Perfect for Halloween, although we just missed that. Excellent for stag dues. Brand new. These fancy dress costumes cost an absolute 10. So four quid, second hand, bargain. And check this out, a black Nike Air Max bag. Yeah, a little bit tatty on the front, but it was only two quid. I will be selling this on, but this is gonna come in really handy today just to carry around all the bits that I find. That's cool to see. Metal Tonka truck, three quid. Looks in reasonable condition to be fair. I imagine it should have a big trailer piece to go on the back. If it had a trailer piece, I'd buy that because I've sold one recently and it went pretty well. But that on its own, looking at solds. Well, I can't find any solds for just it on its own. Put it back. We'll put it back. If that stack of goosebumps was the older versions, that would be incredible. Hang on, that looks pretty old. Egg Monsters from Mars. 1996, is it? Hey, 1996, that is pretty old. Looks like it's from Australia, is that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at this here. 2007 Transformers. Optimus Prime Bath Fizzer. 25p. About time I pampered myself a little bit. This is a solid little game. Ravensburger Barricade. Depending on what box it is, could be anything up to 15 quid all in. Ah, it's this cheap box. Five quid, it is vintage. Last one sold, three, four quid plus post. Let's put that one back. Spirograph Junior right there. Nice old box. By Parker, pound 50 unchecked. I don't think there's much to these. Let's have a look at this in there. Got some paper, that's handy. Looks like it's from 1994. And yeah, it's got this little swirly piece in there. I think that's all it is. It's missing the original pens and pencils, that doesn't matter. The newer version of Spirograph Junior sells for about 20 quid, brand new. None of the old ones are listed, none of the old ones are sold. 
but for a pound fifty, it's too cheap to leave. Box is tatty, but doesn't matter. There's got to be something in that. This is a basic standard pickup, type of thing that you list really quickly. It doesn't take much research and they sell pretty quick. Just keeps the eBay store ticking over. £3.50 for a pair of white leather size 6 Converse. Yeah, worn around the edges. But they can be cleaned up. Actually, you know what? These have seen better days. Starting to go through at the back. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them. Look at that, 950,000. Is that what I'm spending today? <laughs> Slight little detour off my charity shop route. I've got a Facebook marketplace pickup to make. I was up early this morning. I got up about half six on the off chance to check Facebook marketplace and this listed had only been up for six hours. Send a message, is it still available? Yes. Can I come and collect today? Yes. I've got the address. We arranged the time, I'm here to get it. This is a good one. Check this. An original yellow Game Boy boxed yeah the box is a little bit tatty a little bit of sun fading on the side but it's boxed i paid 70 pounds for this and the last one sold went for about 95 all in but the game boy was really tatty look at that sticker on there someone's had a go at peeling that off but i don't mind that it's almost as if they made the box and then realized oh actually i want to throw a few games in let's just slap a sticker on that's the games that they've put in it's not like a shop has just stuck a price sticker on it. That was probably stuck on there in the factory. We've got the original polystyrene insert. The Game Boy itself, it's in pretty good condition. The screen protectors come off, so they've sellotaped that back on, but I can fix that. It's got the battery cover, is missing the little cap there. Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3 in there. And then it's got the original games that I come with. Super Mario Land, Mario Golf and Tetris. They fit in there really snug. And it's got the instruction manuals for the games and for the Game Boy itself. So 70 quid may seem a bit pricey, but you're getting a lot of bang for buck here. I've never seen a coloured original Game Boy boxed either. I've seen a lot of the white ones, you get them in CEX, but that is really cool. I won't be selling this anytime soon. It will be going straight into the collection. And even at 70 quid, I'm sure there's still a bit of profit in there too. Check these two out on the shelf. Playmobil Ghostbusters, brand new and sealed. Stands and Igor Spengler. I wonder if that comes with a little slimer. That looks like it's interactive. But these, brand new and sealed, soles go anywhere up to about 20 quid. What are they, four pounds each? Christmas time's coming, they make nice little stocking fillers. What's a decent present for a Ghostbuster fan in general? That's worth picking up, that is. Always gotta have a rummage around the toys. Couple of babies here. What's that there? That's Pokemon. When I first saw that, I thought it was a bike light. Pound 50. It's got loads of these little cards in there. What does it say on the back? 2013 Pokemon. So I've looked that up on Google Lens. That's a Pokedex. You take those out and you can put them in that viewfinder there. Sold on that could be 20, 25 quid. Depending on how many of those cards are left and what condition it's in. That's well worth picking up. That up there is off of How to Train Your Dragon. This is Hook Fang. Got his little rider. Got the little missile in to be fair. Pound fifty, and the little rider's priced at fifty p, so two quid. Sells for about a tenner. If you can find the Playmobil version of this, it can sell for a lot, lot more. But it's always worth looking up your How to Train Your Dragons. Look at these bags of cars down here. This one caught my eye. Just looks old, doesn't it? Real basic plastic mould cars. Matchbox Super Kings car transporter number eleven. The whole bag's a pound fifty, right? And that one, it, it can sell for a tenner on its own. The going rate mine is more like four quid, five quid plus a little bit of post. It'll hang around for ages, won't it, if I want to get that top price. So we'll leave it. Kids DVDs, Thundercats. Five quid CX, Series 1, Volume 2. 
But I don't think it's worth picking up on its own. The souls don't really justify it. If I had season one with it as well, and I have had a look along there, it's not in there. That'll be well worth picking up. Oh, it's cool to see. I will actually ask at the till, see if they've got it somewhere hidden out the back. But I'm not hopeful. This is quite cool, this is. VTech Moby Go. Flick the screen up to reveal the keyboard there, and you plug games in the top. With a few games, these can go for about 15 quid, plus a bit of post. Three quid, missing the battery pack, no games. Not gonna be enough in it, is there? So maybe one to keep an eye out for in the future. Box of figures, pound each. Yes, old school Spider-Man. Always pick these up whenever I find them. From 2001, got to check the fingers, and this one has got a finger missing. But it's only a pound, so I don't mind. Pretty battered condition. That is another one to just go on my pile of Spider-Man. Been on Vinted again, haven't I? Sweet. And another one. So what a fantastic day. Some nice charity shop finds and a brilliant Facebook marketplace to pick up. I'm so happy with that actually. That's going straight in the collection. But it doesn't stop now. It is getting late, but I've got one more marketplace pickup to make. And this could be the icing on the cake. I'm just camping out in the car a little bit. Storm Kieran is here and it is a bit miserable. And actually, I've not got the best feeling about this. I agreed to pick up yesterday, right? The listing was up for 30 quid, but as soon as I saw it, I knew it would be instantly popular. I just offered 45 quid there and there. And it was accepted, but the buyer has just been really slow at messaging back. They've given me their address. We arranged a time today. This was the earliest that I could come up and collect it. They didn't want to do it last night because it was Halloween. They didn't want to do it in the day for whatever reason. We agreed eight o'clock tonight. I'm shattered. I'm shattered, you know. So the way we left it, right, was I was going to text her when I was leaving Cardiff. And I did at 25 past seven. But I haven't received any message back. And I just know she is going to be bombarded with messages all last night and throughout the day for this. I have arrived about 10 minutes early here, so I'm going to give her another five minutes and then go and bang on the door. Hopefully this rain will pass by. Either way, I'm knocking on the door. It could be a great pickup and I'll have some stuff to show you. Or it could be an interesting conversation if either she doesn't want to sell it or she sold it to someone else. Change of collection point. They're not home. They're out having a bit of food in the brown trout. So I've swung by the pub, I'm in the car park. They said they can come out and drop it off to me here. Fingers crossed. Pickup made and she had had 82 messages about this. Let me show you what it is. So first of all, an official Game Boy Advance SP case. That's pretty neat. And then we've got a blue Game Boy Advance SP. I don't have a blue one. I've got rose gold, tribal and silver. So this one is going straight into the collection. Let's see if it works. Yes, it's working. Looks as if there is a white line running along the top of the screen. But it is what it is. There are a fair few games with this. This is the first one. Advanced Wars. Top game that, to be fair. That is Super Mario World 2, isn't it? What's that? CT Special Forces. That has some Game Boy Color games. V-Rally. I used to have that back in the day. Class game. Mario Golf. Game Boy Color. This one, right, looks surprisingly rare. Donkey Kong Land 3. And finally, Mask of Zorro. So really happy with that. 45 quid. Absolute bargain. Great way to finish the day. Right. I'm Ed and um, I am whacked. If you've enjoyed the pickups today, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe and then check out some of these eBay solds. So I covered it last video, right? My sales have been down. They haven't been particularly spectacular. And if there was one thing to turn around, one thing fundamental to my channel where I started all out was back. Thomas the Tank, particularly Trackmaster. When this hit, I was so chuffed. Stephen the Rocket with Tender and Carriage. That was a really welcome sale, 20 quid all in. And that has kicked off a fair few nice sales here. Let me show you the rest. I think these shoes are absolutely horrible, but they are really, really popular. Nike Air Rift. They've got this kind of blue mesh finish to them. 
they're in reasonable condition on the outside. On the inside, they are horrible. Crusty, brown. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. UK size 10 though. I didn't pay much for them. I paid a couple of quid for them in the charity shop. They sold on the same day. And I thought I was pricing these high. 45 quid all in. Factoring in the condition, they have sold really quick. So perhaps that was a little bit low. And looking at what others can sell for, it probably was. But I'm happy with that profit. Shout out Richard, long-term subscriber of the channel. He's jumped on my store before and bought a ton of Power Rangers stuff. He's been back out there again, this time Christmas shopping. There's some cool little stocking fillers here. We've got a Starscream Transformer, Monster Jam Monster Truck Snake Bite, an Airfix Mustang Starter Kit. What else was, it? oh, this is cool. This is actually quite cool. A Power Rangers Dino Blaster. And I got a couple of these little discs, which will be perfect for getting lost around the house. So me and Richard come to a nice bundle deal. Those four things, I think we settled on 25 quid, something like that, plus post. So Richard, I really hope you enjoy them. Thanks ever so much for supporting the channel and my eBay store again. I hope you can keep these secret for Christmas, mind. We are definitely coming into jigsaw season and I've not sold one for ages. This is a Raven's Burger, a thousand piece, a couple of white tigers on there. I paid a couple of quid for this in the charity shop. I only bought it, mind, because it is brand new and sealed. Not sold for too much more, £8.50 plus post, but that's going to be really easy to package up. And it's not been too much drama storing it either. This was a sweet little find, and I was surprised by the value of it. This is Arlo off of the Good Dinosaur. Paid £2.99 for this. Put batteries in, turn it on, walks along, chats, make, makes noise. But you know what? I went through the little 50p box next to it and I found the little figure. I think his name is Spot. He sticks on the top there. I made a complete set. In the charity shop, they split it up. Well, they weren't really to know. You know, that just gets thrown into the box. That gets stuck up on the shelf. It's nice to be able to sell something 100% complete. And this is worth looking out for. Sold for £30 plus post. And I took an offer on that. It's probably worth a bit more. But the offer was there. Snapped it up. And from 2010, I picked this up in Porthcore for a couple of quid. John Cena, spinner, wrestling belt by Mattel. It's got the Velcro straps on. That one is sold for 15 quid. Saturday afternoon, I went listed mad. Stuck the football on the radio and just smashed out all this Lord of the Rings Warhammer I picked up the other day for 40 quid. Split it down into bundles, listed some bits up individually when that was the best thing to do. And on Sunday, it started to shift. Check this. The first bundle I put together 46 of these little plastic dwarves. They went for 35 plus post. The second bundle 28 of these plastic urukai, and I threw in this metal lurts as well. They went for £17.50 plus post. And the third bundle was 23 of these men of Rohan and I threw in Eowyn and Gamling. They went for £17.50 plus postage as well. So those three sets there have all been bought by the same buyer. I've combined the post, but that's still £70 plus post. And then some guy from Spain on the Global Shipping Programme has bought 43 of these Warriors of the Alliance for just under £35 plus post. These plastic figures I just wrote off as bulk, but in 24 hours they've sold for over £100 plus post. And I've still got some of the better figures to go. Looks like this will be quite a lucrative pickup. This is a nice little sale as well. I sold a toot toot driver car. I think that's it there. Should have a black pit on the top, that's it. Toot toot driver, people carrier. This is one where you can record your own voice and it plays it back. That one vehicle there has gone for 20 quid all in. 20 quid for one car. And then down here, I took a complete punt with this in the charity shop. Tales from Fern Hollow. All six books in this little jacket. When that was sat on the shelf, it just popped out of me. It looks old, looks retro. It was interesting. So I checked solds. Not many solds, but not many listed. And the ones that sell, they went for about 25 quid all in. That's what this is sold for. Can't remember what I paid for it. Wouldn't have been any more than a couple of quid though, I doubt. I've been thinking how I'm going to pack all this Warhammer up. I could wrap each figure individually. That is going to take absolutely ages. And I don't think you really need to. Instead, I'm going to make like a Warhammer lasagna. I'm going to have a layer of bubble wrap, layer of figures, layer of bubble wrap, layer of figures, and just pack it in like that. I should get there all right. Oh, I saw this bag of Star Wars figures as well. I paid 12 quid for a bundle of 12. They're all from the mid-2000s. Took a complete gamble, really, hoping that a couple of them might be worth selling on their own. This was the only one that was worth selling on his own. I've got him listed up for a 15 plus post. This lot I sold for 20 quid all in, so that is my money back. Pretty low risk gamble, really. And I'd probably do it again in the hope to get more figures like this one. 
Someone's been watching the David Beckham Netflix series. David Beckham, awesome strikes. Futera card for 997. That's that goal he scored against Wimbledon. Great shot, that is. £10 plus post. Pink Casio calculator. Paid a pound for that. Sold for a ten and all in. More Warhammer is sold. I sold 25 of these little goblins. Ten a plus post. These are a real cool pair of Astro boots. Nike Mercurials, grey and pink. They've hardly been worn. Paid a couple of quid in the charity shop. They've gone for a tenner plus post. And finally, I picked up this old school Tomy Screwball Scramble. I paid a couple of quid for it. I thought when I looked at it, it was 100% complete. But shout out to the guy in the comments who noticed that little loop piece was missing. I adjusted my listing, changed the title to really highlight that, reduced the price to suit, sold for 15 quid all in. And the final sale, the Cardiff City shirt, 3XL, that's gone for 15 quid all in. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I gotta drop these off at the post office. Catch you in the next one.